Well, grace and peace to you this morning. As you can tell, we're doing something just a little bit different. Today is May 29th, and I'm doing an interactive follow-up with the sermon for Sunday. Part of the preaching ministry of the church, we believe, is not just you being entertained on a Sunday morning, but you actually growing in the knowledge of God, you being transformed by the working of the Holy Spirit into the image of Christ. And so we're helping do that by creating some follow-up videos um, that you can work through. I'm not going to rehash the whole sermon on Sunday. Those will be available online here with hopefully within the next few weeks. Um, but I just want to give you a couple points here that we were talking about. So Colossians 3, since then you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above where Christ is, is seated at the right hand of God. The problem with the church in Colossae is an issue of inferiority and superiority. There's Christians there teaching that you can do religious practices. If you go look through these background notes, it's going to talk about mystery religions. It's going to talk about Jewish mystical teaching and, and a kind of a combination of those two. Go read through those notes and you'll have a better feeling for the background here. But he says in 2.16, Therefore don't let anyone judge you by what you eat or drink, or with regard to a religious festival, new men celebration, or Sabbath day. Do not let anyone who delights in false humility, verse 18, and the worship of angels disqualify you. The problem in Colossae is there are Christians who are teaching that if you do certain things, if you follow certain teachings, if you grow in certain knowledge, that you are superior as a Christian to other people. Now, Christ, our Paul's response is real simple. There is one superior Christian, that is Christ. And all of us are now found in Christ. He says, here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised. Barbarian, Scythian, slave, or free. There's no dividing lines. There's no, no superior and inferior, but Christ is all and is in all. Isn't that a powerful thought? I think the problem with our churches is not so much the thought of superior Christians, but inferior Christians. And way too many Christians attend on Sunday morning that are primarily concerned about being what I like to call bare minimum Christians. Have you ever had or interacted with the bare minimum. I remember in school one time I had a guy that came up to the teacher the first day of class and says, what's the bare minimum I can do to get a C? I just couldn't believe that. I was like, whoa. And of course the professor wasn't that happy, but there's too many of us in our Christian walks that don't even, we don't even seek to be a superior Christian. We just want to be an inferior Christian. The, the, the superior Christian is for the minister, it's for the elders, it's for the deacons. I'm just a pew sitter. I'm just a bare minimum Christian. All I need to know is enough to get me saved. That's not the heart of the Christian message. The heart of the Christian message is about a life of abundance found in our identity in Jesus Christ. Since you have been raised, the, the minister, the elders, the deacon, the, the famous preacher, the, the book writer, whoever it might be, their identity is the same as anyone else in the Christian faith. They are raised with Christ. But since you've been raised with Christ, he says, set your mind on things that are above. Pursue what is above. I think this is interesting. How we've asked you to work on this in the church this year is through three things. Number one, to influence one person for Christ. Number two, to do one thing to welcome Jesus into your home. We're giving you the software and we hope you use that to welcome Jesus into your home. And number three, in one specific way, be more involved in church. The rest of this lesson is going to help you kind of follow through with, with those, those sets. This is how you pursue what is above. You see Christ and you live out his faith. Thanks for your time this morning.